Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor in chief at theserverside.com, and you can follow me on Twitter, Cameron MCNZ. Right now, I want to talk to you about how you can use UiPath and UiPath Studio to remove duplicate rows in Excel. So, I'm going to start this off by creating a new process. I'll call it ddupe Excel because that's exactly what we're going to be doing here. We're going to be deduplicating duplicate records inside of Excel. I've actually got an Excel spreadsheet right here. You can see it's got a list of a bunch of names of Toronto talk show radio hosts and a number of them are duplicated in here. So I want to dedupe this file and just get it down to the bare essentials. Now I'm actually going to take this and I'm going to deduplicate it, remove all of the duplicates. I'm actually going to create a new worksheet in here rather than overwriting the original one just so that we can compare when it's done. But that gives you an idea of what I'm trying to do here. Now the project's open. I'm going to open the main workflow and in order to work with Excel you've actually got to create an Excel scoped sequence here. So I'm going to go in create this Excel application scope and point this right to my Excel duplicates file. That's the one that I just showed you. Okay, now that's loaded in. What do we need to do? Well, we need to now select everything that's in this sheet here called my duplicates. I'm going to take the name of that sheet because it's very, very important. Come over here and I do a read range. And so I drop this over here. Initially it says sheet one. I actually want to put in uh, the name of my sheet, which is my duplicates. Make sure you put it in quotes here, otherwise you'll have a problem because you'll think it's a variable. So there we go. We're going to read everything on that worksheet that's named my duplicates. Uh, we don't need to specify a row or anything because we'll just read everything that's on it. And when this is read, it's going to take the results and store it in a data table named, well, I don't have a variable yet. So I've actually got to create that variable. So I'm going to call that table that it creates duplicates. Actually, no, I'm just going to, I'm just going to call that input. It's the original input file because I'm actually going to dedupe it. And so once it's been deduped, it's not going to have duplicates in it anymore. So browse for types. I'm going to look for the data table type because that's what you create when you read a bunch of records from Excel. You create a data table. And so as soon as we read everything that's on that my duplicates page in the Excel file, that's going to come out and be stored in a data table called input. Okay, so that looks like that. All makes sense. Sheets my duplicates. There's no range specified there because we'll read the whole page and the data gets stored in this variable named input. Okay, well after we've done that, what do we need to do? Well, the next thing we need to do is actually factor out all of the duplicates in there. And so that can be done by going into programming, working with the data table. You notice that there's this remove duplicate rows. So I just add that in here. It's going to say, hey, what data table are you removing the duplicate rows on? And so in the input field here, you say, hey, that's just the input uh, variable that's holding the initial list of data tables. And then when we're done, we want to overwrite that. So the, both the input and the output for this example are actually going to be uh, the same thing, right? It comes in with a bunch of duplicates, and then we're going to deduplicate it, and then recreate a brand new, well, not recreate a new data table, but initialize that variable and set it to the uh, deduped list of names. But anyway, so after this step, that input variable now doesn't have any duplicates on it. And what do we want to do? Well, it might be a good idea to actually write that back to Excel. And so I'm going to do a write range. And because we're inside of the Excel application scope, all of this is happening within this with the within the same Excel application. Now the write range, I'm just going to say deduped. Okay, so that's going to create this is going to create a brand new worksheet inside of Excel called deduped. And right here, I'm going to say input is the variable that I want to use in order to, uh, for the content that I want to write into that file. And so there we go. We now have uh, read all of the records in that sheet. We removed the duplicates, and then we have now written the deduped list into a new worksheet called deduped. So I'll click save. I don't have any errors showing here. I will click save. I will then click on the run button. I see a flash and it says uh, doesn't like the sheet my duplicates in that workbook. And so what is it my duplicates here so I'll save that I'll close it. I think it just might be a conflict in it being open so I'll run this again. 
it looks like it's now run properly. I go in and take a look at the duplicates and you'll see I've got the My Duplicates file and then over here in Deduped, all of the records are, are listed, but there's no duplicates at all. And there you go, that's how easy it is to remove duplicate rows in Excel using UiPath Studio. If you enjoy this tutorial, head over to theserverside.com. We've got lots of great tutorials and articles over there about enterprise development. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ and subscribe on YouTube.